Okay, good afternoon, everybody. We're going to get started with the presentation now. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the Starship uh, updates that are coming up and getting ready for the busy holiday shipping season and how Starship can help you with some efficiencies here and some new functionality. So as you know, Starship has integrated into uh, ERPs like Dynamics GP. And with that, we've also expanded our e-commerce integrations to include multiple shopping carts and marketplaces. So you have the ability to streamline that process as well as you're getting more and more web orders in. Starship makes it easier for you to do the fulfillment on both of those ends. Uh, one of the big differences with Starship and some of the other e-commerce uh, shipping solutions that are available today is the ability to have uh, multiple carriers and multiple modes of transport. We have powerful custom business rules, uh, freight rules, ship via rules, and uh, some programming that can be done in order to give you an enhanced shipping experience with uh, custom rules that uh, make it more efficient for you to do the processing out in the warehouse. We also offer WMS integration uh, to products like uh, Panatrack and GP Collect from High Jump, as well as EDI integration to many of the popular um, EDI solutions that are available in the GP space, such as uh, True Commerce, Redtail, Data Masons, One EDI, whole host of other solutions. One of the ways that you can really do some uh, some good savings on the workflow and uh, the volume of packages that you're shipping out uh, is consider using USPS as an alternative to uh, UPS or FedEx. Uh, so with all the various fees that UPS and FedEx charge, uh, there's quite a bit of markup there that's uh, hidden in your bill. And sometimes you don't discover that until after the fact that it's too late. What Starship gives you the ability to do is compare all those carriers rates side by side and uh, compare apples to apples, essentially. Uh, so here you'll see some of the various uh, surcharges that are, that are charged by UPS and FedEx. Uh, residential surcharge, you don't have that with the post office. Delivery area surcharge, uh, that's really nothing with the post office. Fuel surcharge, address correction fees, um, you, know, you could be paying um, you know, sometimes more than the actual shipment itself if you have the wrong address. Starship does have address validation as well, though. Um, dimensional uh, rates for uh, all these zones uh, where you're paying by the cubic size of the shipment, uh, package tracking, and weight uh, up to 16 ounces. Uh, so here's an example here where you're shipping a package uh, from the East Coast to the West Coast. And you can see here, based on the size of the package, FedEx is charging 13.58, UPS is charging 13.05, and the post office comes in just below $10. So you can see quite a bit of savings there that you can then put in your pockets, or you can also pass on some of that savings to your customer uh, for sending that oversized box. One of the ways that we make this easier for you in the latest uh, version of Starship uh, we've added the ability to view demo rates. So even if you're not using the post office, you have the ability to see what the potential savings would be right on the screen. Uh, so the post office rates will show up in the mix. They'll be ghosted here unless you have the module enabled. You'll also see that savings in the dashboard. There's a widget that will show you uh, any potential money that you may have left on the table by choosing to go with a more expensive option. So if you are interested in taking advantage of the uh, USPS rates that are available inside of Starship, contact your sales rep or customer account manager today, and we can take care of enabling that for you at no charge. One of the other uh, great options that Starship offers uh, modern distributors today is the ability to integrate all of their various uh, cart platforms. So this list keeps expanding over time. Uh, what we have the ability to do is uh, grab all the cart orders either from the cart directly or out of your ERP and merge those in with the rest of your GP workflow. Presently, we offer integrations to marketplaces such as Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. And there's also plugins for shopping carts that include 3D Cart, Big Commerce, Magento, Shopify, Volusion, and WooCommerce. 
uh, we're always expanding that list over time. So in the next couple of releases, you'll see some of these other options pop up. Uh, we have uh, New Egg, Walmart, Sears, Open Cart, Press the Shop, X Cart, and Squarespace Commerce in the pipeline uh, for the next couple of releases coming up. How that works is really bi-directional. Uh, it can work directly with your e-commerce orders. Uh, so you can have Starship connect directly to your cart, ship off of the cart, and then update those orders directly. Or more traditionally, you have uh, the orders that are flowing from the cart into GP and all the e-commerce information that would be needed is mapped out of GP and we can um, key off of those values such as the platform that you're using, the order number, and in some cases also the item number. And then we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what's coming up in the next release, 18.1. Uh, this is currently in controlled release. Uh, we have a new module to announce for Worldwide Express. This is a 3PL service uh, with the new module that we're offering uh, that has the ability to pull down negotiated rates from a national freight broker. Uh, they can work on your behalf to negotiate rates with a whole mix of carriers uh, anywhere in the country that they service. Um, so they can act as your agent and negotiate those rates with the carriers on your behalf. Uh, if you decide to participate in the controlled release, we're also offering a 10% off discount on the module. So if you are interested in that, feel free to contact your sales rep or customer account manager. And lastly, we'll be taking a look at the new browser-based web client. Uh, this has been uh, something that we've had in the pipeline here for a couple of years. We've been working on this diligently, and we're just uh, starting to launch this uh, now. It's basically the next iteration of Starship. Uh, you'll be able to run this in parallel with the current desktop client. Currently, it's available as a controlled release uh, for parcel-only shippers. Uh, we're working on uh, the next build of that that will be available in uh, early December, and that will also expand the options to all the LTL and freight carriers that we have available. So if you are interested in that, uh, also contact your rep, and we can uh, see about if you'd be a good fit for that to get early access to the new web client. With that, there's also a new dashboard uh, that's built into the, uh, the client. So you have access to the dashboard and the uh, web client uh, from the same view now. So with that, we're going to switch gears, get out of the PowerPoint. So here you have a freight example uh, pulled up here where we're going to ship out an LTL order. Starship's going to still, you know, pull over all the same traditional information from GP, your order header, um, your ship to, your ship from, carrier and service level, um, all the packaging information down here below that you may be familiar with. Um, big difference with LTL, if you're not familiar with shipping LTL, you have this additional tab here for the bill of lading information. And at the line item level, Starship uh, contains um, the ability to cross-reference your part numbers with the NMFC code, freight class, any information that's required for the bill of lading so we can easily help you fill out that information so you're not manually going in to uh, write that out by hand or visiting the carrier's websites. We can pull all that information in via APIs. Same thing for the rates. If you're familiar with rate shopping, UPS, FedEx, Postal, um, DHL, you have the ability to do that here with uh, the common carriers as well. And you can see here, there's a list of rates. Uh, it's a ranking from the most, uh, the cheapest down to the most expensive. You can also uh, sort by the transit time or alphabetically by the carrier. So we'll go ahead and pick one of our Worldwide Express offerings here. Same sort of process to uh, get this out the door. Come up here to the toolbar, or you have your keyboard shortcuts over here, so F5 shipping process that will complete your transaction, uh, tender that uh, with the carrier, schedule the pickup, print your bill of lading, and then all that data is going to feed back into GP so you have it there for customer service purposes. Let's take a look at the latest and greatest in Starship. Here we go. This is the new web client. As you can see, it's had quite a facelift from the previous version, so everything now is browser-based. Um, You'll be able to log into a browser from really anywhere on the network. And this is basically the first step in moving Starship to the cloud. We'll be launching our cloud platform in 2019. So stay tuned for more details on that. 
to start with, you have the web clients uh, that can run in parallel with the desktop client. So you'll have the ability to work off of both systems. Um, same database, same sort of configuration. You just have essentially a new skin for Starship. So you have the browser-based utility here. Um, instead of having um, everything on one screen, when you first log in, you have your data source here. You're connected to your GP company. And you can scan or enter the uh, document ID that you, you want to ship against over here. Or you can bring up the view, and then you can sort here by how many orders you want to see, um, any of the filters that you want to apply. Let's go ahead and grab a, an order here, and we'll get that shipped out. Same sort of licensing setup with GP, however many uh, seats that you have available when you log into the web client uh, or the desktop client that will grab a seat uh, that's available and you also have the dashboard users as well as you can see uh, we've done away with the tabs so you're no longer moving uh, left to right you're more or less moving up and down the screen so you have these little widgets here uh, so you can basically see everything in the same view Address validation will pop up here, so you can see the validated address and choose to use that. So as I mentioned, one of the big differences is having all of the uh, information available here in these widgets. You can kind of drill down into that information here by clicking on the little icon to the right, and that expands the view. From here, you can change the carriers, change the services, and each area um, that was previously on a tab, you can click on the little pencil or the pen there, and it'll open up that information. All of your shipment options are here. Packaging, we can click on that here, or there's also a new shipping assistant. You can click over here, switch to packing assistant, and that lets you move things left to right to pack out. So you have an expanded view here for when you're picking and packing your goods. All of your carriers and service levels will be available down here below. So as you see, this came over as FedEx. But as I mentioned earlier in the presentation, you can see there's potentially other ways we can get it there cheaper. Of course, that post office option came up here the cheapest, so we can save you know, nearly six bucks if we decide to send it out with the post office. Ship and process here, or F3, will complete your transaction. And just as we've done before in the desktop client, we'll process that transaction, send the detail back to GP. Take a look over here at the dashboard. Here's the new dashboard. Uh, you can have uh, different widgets or uh, reports that are visible on the screen. You have those accessible here. You can add tables, add charts, or you can also add the map. So here you have the map. It'll populate based on uh, where you're most frequently shipping to and all of the standard widgets and reports that you're used to in the dashboard are available here. That said, I'd like to thank everyone for your time and attention today. Thanks, and have a great day.